What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope we're all doing really well. Now we have a 4-2-1-3 formation for you today. That is dominating my division at this point in time. Or should I say, I am dominating with this formation at this point in time. I am not conceding too many. I'm scoring lots. I'm having lots of possession. I should have recorded the stats, which I think I will do at the end of this video. But it is insane, so let's jump straight into it. So yeah, this is a totally dominant uh, set up formation dominate your opponent more shots more passing more possession it is a very very solid solid formation at this point in time and it is after patch three so post patch three um haven't really felt much of a difference to be fair in any of the patches everything still seems the same so i'm not going to have a rant about that i'm just making formations that can kind of benefit us in foot champs and in rivals to try and take away the bad side of the game so that's what we're trying to achieve so you can see we're starting it from the get-go so our default is a 4-2-1-3 and what you'll find is with me especially is there's still certain formations that i will use so the 4-3-1-2 very good formation the 4-1-2-1-2 haven't done a formation on this yet but it's coming and then i've got the 4-4-2 obviously and then the default tactic for this is the 4411 so you can kind of see where i'm going with these formations and how i'm using them you know and they're still relevant so somebody said to me the other day you know are you are you still using certain formations yes absolutely i go between the formations if i find one formation is lacking or not quite working in that particular game i will switch it up on the d-pad otherwise what's the point you don't want to be stuck with the same thing, so it's best just to have all these different options, which is what I've got. So, the 4 2 one, three, it's set up a short passing and high defensive approach, as you can see in front of you. So, it's 70, you still get the runs, you still get the aggressive step ups, you still get the offside trap as well, which is pretty nice. However, it is a very dominant formation. You will dominate your nine out of ten times, you will dominate with this formation because it has absolutely everything. Now, the reason I'm not showing the code yet is because the code is at the end of the video. So if you want to skip right to the end of the video, that's absolutely fine. I have no issue with that at all. I'm not here for the money or anything like that. So, you know, you can absolutely do that. It's your right to do that. However, the one thing I will say is a lot of people do come back to me and private message me and say things like your 433 isn't working. Your 442 isn't working. Uh, your 4312 isn't working. OK, that's cool. But understand that if you're not watching the videos to understand where these players are on the pitch and how the formation works, then you are going to struggle with these formations. So it is highly recommended to watch some of the game clips where I explain where a player is going to be, where the runner is going to be, where the next pass is going to be, just so you get an understanding of these formations. Because it's all well and good putting these formations in and then you expect it to play like a 4 2 one three. It doesn't play like a 4 2 one three. When you're without the ball, this is where your players are with the ball is where you dominate and with the ball is where you're going to see where the runners are and where the runners are going to come from and where each player is so that is why i always recommend watching the entirety of the video but of course it is entirely up to you guys so again what i'm going to do is i'm going to drop in some gameplay i'll explain everything you know i'll explain how the where the runners are how it works etc etc and then obviously you'll see how this is set up with the ball and obviously you'll see the code too yeah, I'm absolutely in love with this formation. It's a really poor shot here from my opponent. He does the red time finish. Doesn't quite get it right. And then from here, you have so many passing options. And if you just look at what I mean, so you have the four, and then you have the two, and then you have the front four. Now, you can see the cam. He's coming to the ball. He's making those moves to be an option in midfield. And then with the first touch, we get the ball straight into the box. And then Son is such a great card. He is it's such a good card. I don't know what his price is, but if you want a striker, he's your man. So we're going to have some nice clips of how this works and why I think this is one of the most dominating formations out there at this point in time. And you will see from this point here, we have four at the field and there's your two holding midfield players. And then from there, we hit the post. Ball comes back out again and from here my opponent can't escape so if you look at your screen now we have the two dms one engages the other one's sitting back the other one gets back into position the front four are on the, are on the front foot again and we get that goal and that is why it's so dominant because your opponents find it so difficult to get past that midfield 
Yep, moving along to the rest of the gameplay clips I have on this particular formation. And when I said it is so difficult to break down the midfield, it is literally difficult to break down the midfield. I mean, you're going to have games where you're going to struggle. You're going to have games where everything is going to go against you. Uh, you're going to have times where just nothing works and you, you're screaming and shouting and, and you're banging around and you're getting frustrated with this game because this game is frustrating and believe me i have plenty of times where my formation isn't doing what i want it to do and we all we've all been there we've all done it we know exactly what we're talking about it just doesn't work no matter what you do so yeah rather than giving up and quitting it is well worth persevering with these formations and these setups because they do they will get excuse me they will get you out of sticky situations and like this one here on one one i've got a red card i i do go ahead and get another goal but then i go ahead and get another red card everything's going against me and you know ultimately i'm in the game but i'm not in the game if that makes sense so yeah i mean this is a perfect example you can see here we're one zero down in the 30th minute and nothing is working I do get a lucky goal there from Son. That is a very, very lucky goal. But it's one of those situations where nothing's working. My formation is static. Nobody's moving. Everything my opponent does is 100% working. Everything I do is 100% not working. I can't even make a simple pass. Look how deep my players are, although I'm asking them to play higher than that. But you persevere. We get through it. And it is when these formations do actually come to their own and do actually help. And we went from like a, like a losing situation to come in away with a draw rather than a loss. And I think that is all we can ask for in this game. So yeah, let me jump through and show you how I've got this bad boy set up. So yeah, I hope that made sense, guys. I really do. And I hope it kind of, you understand now why I prefer you guys to watch the gameplay to make sure it's right for you for number one and number two, so you know where these runners are and where these players are in, in each position. So you can see without the ball, it's a given. You can see the instructions on each individual player. But what I like to do is, so basically, with the ball, it, this is what it looks like. So you have your, your, your four at the back, for example, and then you have your two holding players. Now, your two holding players, they will not move from that position, as you would have seen if you'd watched the gameplay clips. So you would see these two are kind of sitting next to the two centre-backs. They don't move from the centre-backs. So if you expect them to bomb forward, they're not, which is why I say watch the gameplay. You do get some extra whip from your full-backs, which is a given. But it's forward where the the domination comes from. So you've, in fact, you've always got four players forward, no matter what happens with this formation. There's always four forward. Now the beauty of this is you have the you have the cam, which is a shadow striker, and the striker, which is you know an advanced forward or poacher, whichever you prefer. They are very very close together. So these two are always got passing options. Then you couple in with the inside forwards of the wingers. They play really close to these two players as well. So that is where you have your triangles. You have your triangles between the left side. You have triangles between the right side. And that's where the domination comes in because you can bypass their left back, centre back, even their DM, which is why I say this is quite a dominant formation. So I, yeah, I kind of hope that makes sense. Um, the code is on the screen now. So yeah, absolutely. Give this one a try. Like I've said before, when it comes to team tactics, um, I do have slots filled, so you can see here, I have my default, my 4411. I love that formation still. I have my 442 flat, which is still a meta. Uh, the 41212, uh, the code is there. However, I'm not quite finished with it yet. So please don't jump straight into this one because it's not ready yet. I'm still working out some kinks on that one. And then obviously the 4312, which I did on Monday, is an absolute beast of a formation still. And then this one, the 4213, is kind of like if you've used my 4312, but you, you don't like the fact you want wingers, this is where the 4213 comes into play because it's very similar to the 433. However, the left wing and right wing are very much close. They're closer together, which makes it you know a more narrow formation and a more dominant formation in my opinion. So yeah, if you hit that like button, if you like what you see, subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, everybody take care and look after themselves.